3D printing has become increasingly more affordable over the years and more and more accessible to the average consumer. With plenty of models and prices to choose from, not all of us can afford to plonk £400 down on one. This might be where Monoprice comes in. This is the Monoprice V2 Mini and it's around £140 and for that price apparently, supposedly, you're getting an out of the box experience that's kind of easy to use. Now, I can tell you that it's not that case, but nevertheless, for the price, I'll let you know exactly what you're getting. Now, if you don't want an introduction to the V2 Mini, I'll put a time code in the link in the description and that'll take you directly to how to set up Cura and all the best settings to get the perfect print. So in the box you get everything you need to get started. I'll be honest, the measly amount of provided filament won't go a long way, so it's worth getting some beforehand. I actually recommend this filament by a brand called G-Tech. They do a variety of different styles and this one is a more beautiful marble effect that makes your prints look absolutely stunning. I'll link this in the description below. So back to what you get in the box. You get a power adapter, micro USB cable, micro SD card, plastic bed scraper and a bed leveling wrench and some sample PLA. Now setting up the printer is actually very simple. All you need to do is remove all the plastic coverings on any components that may be visible. Then grab your filament holder and simply slide it into place. Plug in your power bank into the back and switch it on. You're actually pretty much ready to go from there. But to ensure you get a perfect print, there are some steps to take to ensure you have the printing to the best possible quality. They do say that this is factory leveled and calibrated too, but if you've done your research on a 3D printer like this, we all know life isn't that simple. Let's start by levelling this the easiest way possible. Press the home button on your control panel. This way your extruder will be in its required place up against the bed. Now just using a standard piece of A4 paper, you're going to need to slide it under. When you move it, you'll feel some friction. Not enough to damage the paper, but enough to be aware of it. Move your extruder to different areas of the bed and continue to do this. If you find you're getting too much friction or not enough, then just go and grab the wrench provided and loosen or tighten the screws. You should find that small amounts of movements will get you there. It's kind of impossible to get it perfect, but you can only try, right? Now it's time to input your filament. This is very simple. Grab the end of the filament and cut a slit into it. Then pull back the lever and input the PLA until it won't push anymore. This is why I have the extruder placed on the right side of the board. This makes it much more easier to push through. Right, so now you're done, you're ready to print. There is a provided cap file on the SD card and you should print this first to test whether or not the bed is level and I'd advise you to do that. Just go ahead and preheat the bed and nozzle. Once the temperature is reached, you can go back to the print and print the cat. Be ready to cancel the print however because this is just a test to test the nozzle distance. You know if you have the correct distance, because as shown on the diagram on the screen, your PLA will be printed in straight and continuous lines. Obviously, anything other than this means you're likely going to have to go back and level your equipment. If you're all level, you can go ahead and print the cat. Now, I found the cat to print very well. I had no problems at all. But when it comes to printing your own models on the V2, things go a little bit mental. It just doesn't seem to want to stick to the printing bed and sometimes, like many people who have probably come to this video for answers, have found it just comes out a wiry ball of mess. Now after hours of trial and error and searching for some truths on this matter, I found it. Here it is. Cura is a very simple piece of software to use whether you're on MacBook or Windows. But the new updated and older models lack something important, the starting G code. It's just completely wrong. What you need to do is copy and place the one I have in the description. This one fixes most of the issues. With the new code correct, load up the provided custom profile I have also linked in the description, where it will alter all your settings to optimize them for this printer. Now, that's pretty much it. This was the fix I was looking for, for all my prints to come out near to perfect. There are plenty of models to choose from online, load the file onto Cura and click slice. Save it onto the provided micro SD card, 
Go back over to your machine, plug it in, ensure all your temperatures are right and ready to go. Now with the Cura fix in place, I have never had a problem with this printer again. All my prints come out better than expected for the price range. As you can see, everything just looks as if it's come from a £300 to £400 model just by simply tweaking some settings. There is little support when it comes to this machine from Monoprice, but when it comes to the community, this is a very popular machine. I may be late to the party with a review with this, but nevertheless, the Cura fix and the settings may help some people out there. Now, is it worth the price? Well, I'm not sure how Monoprice is actually making any money off this. The machine is elegant and the perfect 3D printer for beginners and professionals alike. Prints come out beautiful and partnered up with the filaments like GTEx, you just have a handful of opportunities at your fingertips. This isn't the fastest machine on the market, it isn't the best on the market, but I can emphasise from that price range, the quality you're getting with a few tweaks, it is outstanding. Check out the product in the link in the description, let me know what you think. As always, till next time.